today is a huge huge deal for us because Lamora here will be running his first agility competition oh my god I have absolutely no idea how will that go either he'll be absolutely brilliant and he'll run two clean courses and everything will be perfect or he won't run at all I feel like there's no middle ground with Lamora we have arrived really really early because uh, Lamora needs a lot of time to sniff around and get to know everything and so right now we're just having a leisurely walk uh, leisurely walk and after this we'll go inside and try to warm up You know that feeling when you are completely calm and you know that you have done absolutely everything that you can do in the training? Yeah, I have no freaking idea how do you guys do that. Also, if it goes badly, here's a training video for you so that you know that she can actually run agility. <laughs> or if it goes well, you can compare. Before we went into the ring, Lamora had a real, real problem to pay attention to me. So I had to do this like crazy running and playing with him, playing with toys. And obviously because this is a beginner's class, we can use toys. But I didn't want to run with toy in my hand, so I just had to switch his attention to me. And I was surprisingly lucky at that. And so we are starting running, it's going really well, but oh well. Here's some traditional Saluki Zumi because Lamora decided to show me that he is a Saluki after all and so he had to have at least one Zumi but at least like we're running and then Lamora also decided to be lazy and he passed that jump and here's another fast jump and so that's how Lamora got his first disqualification in his agility career. I'm super, super proud about you. I love you and I think you should know that. He doesn't care. So apparently we do have a middle ground after all. Some Saluki Zoomies, but overall I'm very, very happy because he returned to me and uh, he was me after finishing. So yes, it was a good start. Even before the competition, I knew that one problem I would face right now with Lamora is that after I take off his uh, leash and collar, he would consider them as a toys. And uh, so I had to really pay attention to that. And uh, you can see I take off the leash and he's looking at it. And so I had to get his attention back to me, which worked successfully because I were prepared for that. And Lamora, why are you leaving me? That's not fair. Well, here's another disqualification and at this point I have completely lost my place on the course because like Lamora did the two wrong tunnels and I don't know what to do and so I had not planned to do a rear cross to this tunnel, definitely not, but like I seriously had lost my place. But at least the finish is really, really good, like Lamora is really running with me and he's paying attention and I'm really proud about that. Lots and lots of dogs got disqualified on the exact spot that we did and I already knew that it will be a problem and I were kind of afraid and I were trying to work it but well, Lamora decided to have fun! But I'm actually very happy how it went because uh, after the warm-up I were afraid that like a Lamora wouldn't run at all with me he really had problems to switch his attention to me so I'm very very happy that we actually got to finish together and he was taking treats from me on the finish and toys and I'm very very happy I think this was like a good good indication that yes we can run agility I'm very very happy if you want to follow Lamora's progress in agility in the future we'll be running a lot of competitions don't forget to subscribe to this channel I'll be doing those competition vlogs for every time we run